What we're going to look at now is reverse percentages. Now, a reverse percentage is basically when someone does a percentage to something. Maybe there's a sale of 20% or an increase of 5% or something like that. And you're told what the new price is or the new amount is. But you want to reverse that percentage increase or decrease and find out what it was originally. Whenever you have to do that, it's reverse percentages. But you don't even have to remember the title if you just remember how it's done. Say we have a shop, let's say Gap. Gap has a sale of 20% on a new line of sweaters. They now cost 16 pounds. They now cost 16 pounds each. What did they cost before? What did they cost before the sale? Now, you notice they've given us the price after the sale and they've told us what the percentage decrease was in the price it's gone down by 20 percent so we have a reverse percentage we want to reverse that percentage decrease to find out what it was originally here's how you do that always imagine like the original price is a hundred percent Think of that number in your head, like on the horizon, covered in starlight, in gold letters, 100%. You're always trying to get to that 100% on the horizon. They took away 20% from that 100%. Oh, that's annoying. Well, in this case, it's a sale, so we're kind of glad that they took away 20%. But for the, to answer the question, we're kind of annoyed that they took away 20%. If they didn't, we'd have the original price already. Now, if you take away 20% from that shining 100%, what percentage are you left with now after you take away 20% from 100%? Yes, you're left with 80%. So the new price, which is £16, is not the original old wonderful 100%. It's now only 80% of that original. Our challenge is to get back from that 80% new price to the 100% original price. How do we do that? My tip, always get back to 10% or 1% and from there it's easy to get back to 100%. Remember you can't take away or add. If we added 20% to 80% to get to 100%, we'd be adding only 20% of the 80%. And 20% of 80 is not the same as 20% of 100, so you would not get back to 100% if you just added on 20% of £16. We can't add or take away. We have to divide and times to get back to 100%. I say divide by 8 to get back to 10%. If we divide both sides by 8, we should get... 16 divided by 8 is £2, and 80% divided by 8 is, of course, 10%, which is what we wanted. Now, to get back to 100%, we've got 10%, we times by 10. Times by 10. That's what we're always aiming to do, remember, to get back to 100%. And our price goes back to 100% with us. £2 times by 10 is £20, and that equals 100%. Yes, we got back to that amazing, shining 100%. Let's turn it into gold. Okay, that's not really gold. Anyway, you get the idea. So the original price was £20 of the sweaters. Let's do one more question, but this time they've increased the price, and it's a real-life example. In England, the price for a ticket, a train ticket, from London to Kent for a whole year, a season ticket has gone up by 6.46% 6 
this article says. But they didn't tell us what the price was originally, and they didn't tell us how much it's gone up by in pounds. They've just said it now costs four thousand nine hundred and forty pounds, and that is a six point four six percent increase. How would we find the original amount if that was the question? What is the normal price? What is the price in two thousand and twelve before this increase? Well, we would need to reverse that percentage increase to find that out. So it's reverse percentages. What did the price start off? What was the original price as a percentage? It was that wonderful 100%, the original price. It's now gone up by 6.46%. So if you go up by 6.46% from 100%, you now have a hundred and six percent. So a hundred percent plus the increase of six point four six percent equals a hundred and six point four six percent. Now the price that they've given us, the new price is four thousand nine hundred and I believe forty or sixty ah uh, yes forty pounds forty pounds what how would we get back to a hundred percent certainly we can't we'd need to use a calculator this would be too hard to do in our heads but my advice is always get back to one percent or ten percent in this case, it's going to be easier to get back to 1%. To get back to 1% from 106.46, that sounds quite hard. Certainly, we can't take away 6.46%. I know we're going to need to divide all times, but divide by what? If we divide by 106.46, that would actually get us to 1%. So we're dividing by 106.46 to get us to 1%. 106.46 divided by 106.46 is 1%. 4,940 4 divided by 106.46 is 46 pounds and 40 pence 46 pounds and 40 pence but we didn't want to know what 1% of the original price is we wanted to know what the full original amount 100% what that was so yes we need to times that 1% by 100 and isn't that cool we now know what the price was without the article even telling us before the increase it was still a massive amount, £4,640. £4,640 just to get from London to Kent.